So some of you might feel uh, like overwhelmed basically with all the different offerings you could, you could offer because you have so much you've learned in your life uh, that could be helping your clients and your audience. Um, so of course, I don't want you to feel overwhelmed. And so if focusing in on specific topic uh, is, cal is calming to you and helps with your product, your field productivity, I'm all for it. Uh, there are also others who feel constricted when they start to focus in. And so um, that's why I don't give a blanket advice that we should all niche down, <clears throat> which is typically what the, the typical business or marketing coach says. Niche down, riches are in the niches. Um, you know, people buy when you have a specific problem that you solve for a specific person, right? Uh, that is, that's all true. And like I said, it... <laughs> Focusing is counterproductive to some people's energy and their ability to thrive in their business. But again, if you are at the stage right now where you do feel like you need to focus so that you feel more productive and you can organize yourself better, then by all means do it. Um, you know, and I've had phases in my business where I've focused on certain things and then also expanded and then focused again on a different thing in different years. So it's, it's perfectly acceptable. Um, and in terms of how to focus and how to choose um, the question that, that I would offer to you is, well, there, there's essentially two ways to choose uh, a particular niche focus at this time. There's your energy, and then there's what's more saleable or what people are going to sign up for more, more likely. Um, and and in, in the ideal realm, in the ideal world universe, those two are the same, but sometimes they're not. So, so the question back to you is, do you need to make money faster <laughs> or do you somehow have uh, you know, some other financial support that you can have plenty of spaciousness uh, to build out the audience first? If you have plenty of spaciousness, and when I say plenty, I mean ideally 12 months or more before you have to make money, uh, that would be, <clears throat> then, then you can go the, the energy route. So why I have, you know, I have at least a year's you know, financial support, I'll need my, my business to, to support me financially. So then go ahead, follow your energy on what you want to focus in on and just go, go gung ho, diligently build an audience for that, for that topic that you're really energized by. Because once you build an audience, you can then sell them something they want, you know, uh, and, and within that, within that topic, and that'll be much more enjoyable for you versus I need money you know, now, this month, or in the next three months or six months, then you should choose the focus niche that people are much more likely to sign up for to buy. And how do you know? Well, that's where the conversations, market research conversations with your, with your audience, with your you know, client, past clients, current clients, if you don't have any clients and prospective clients, potential clients, friends who, are, who seem like your ideal client, colleagues who have an audience or a network of people who are your potential client. Conversations with people like that to uh, understand what are people buying right now? What are people hiring for right now? Um, what they might want to hire, what they're most likely to hire or buy from what I could offer. Those kinds of conversations help you to say, well, what can make money sooner? And what can make money sooner? That's what you should choose if you want to make money sooner. Uh, and hopefully you'll have, yeah, if, obviously if, you, if, you, if your income is a priority right now, hopefully you'll be energized enough to, to choose that area to make it, to make it work for you. So um, yeah, so that's how you choose. And then always know that your ultimate niche, your broadest niche really is your energy signature, you, your personal brand, whatever you want to call it, which is eventually you'll build an audience of people who just appreciates, just resonates somehow with your energy. They're aligned with how you are in the world and they will be likely to buy just about anything you sell that, that, that is aligned with their wants. Um, and so over time, know that even though you focus in, you can always choose a different focus in three months, six months, a year, two years, whatever. You can always choose a different focus and you can go back to that focus again uh, you can sometimes offer both, <laughs> as I have sometimes have, you know, in certain years I've offered, I've offered multiple things at the same time. So it's all okay. I don't believe that everyone has to niche down all the time. If it's helpful for you at this time, do it though. So I hope this helps. And yes, even if you're focused on one thing, 
for this year or for the next three, six months, you can still post content whenever you feel like it, whenever you feel inspired on other topics too. So, so for, for example, each year I focus on one topic for my next book or the next edition of my previous books. And so each year I focus on one topic. Now this year, the topic happens to be authentic selling. Uh, last year, the topic was joyful productivity. And so this year, I'm just going to keep, keep posting on about authentic selling every other week. And on the off weeks, I post on something else that I want to post on. So it's really okay to focus and allow yourself to keep experimenting. And that's, that's probably a smart thing to do because experimenting is always helpful to continue gathering data and continue feeling into what might feel uh, more alive, energizing for you that you may want to focus on in the future.